What we do here at the Transit Center, we do inspections, maintenance, and pickup and delivery. Day to day we do inspections on aerospace ground equipment, which would be anything used to support aircraft or personnel. Um, we also do maintenance and upkeep on it, and we also monitor all of our has and things like that as our daily job, which is one of my duty, additional duties here. Pretty much a jack of all trades. We take care of everything from electronics to diesel engines, gas turbine engines, or take care of all the power equipment that deals with the aircraft. Anything the aircraft needs on the ground, we maintain. As I say, master of none, but we like to refer to ourselves as master at everything. My duty title here is uh, Age Craftsman. I'm pretty much in charge of all the uh, post inspection work and maintenance work that the journeymen do. I inspect it and make sure it's uh, good to go and ready to roll to the flight line. My main thing here is maintenance, which is anytime something comes in with any kind of issue or problem uh, that could cause injury or would not support the aircraft or personnel in the way it should. Uh, that's my job to look at it, troubleshoot it, figure out what the issue is, and get it, get it going as quickly as possible. Here at the uh, Transit Center, we have 160 pieces of equipment on our equipment account. They range from uh, big generators, like the one we're doing an engine change on today, to small tow bars. And uh, depending on what brakes and what the flight line needs, that's where we focus our attention to. Anything around the aircraft and anything that used to support aircraft or personnel, that's all me. We, we provide a very good backfall for the aircraft and we make it very easy for the maintainers to, to go out there and do their job and uh, the aircraft to fly every day. There is no air power without ground power. There's no set schedule. We have our inspection schedule, but we can go from repairing one piece of equipment to up to five, six pieces of equipment of critical equipment in one day. So it's either feast or famine. We, we're either really busy or we're just work and make our equipment better. Uh, you really get to see your work pay off down there. You really get to see how the mission, you know, what, what all you're doing. You get to see the receivers that are getting the fuel from the 135s and everything that you're supporting down there. Again, there's no air power without ground power. We provide these guys the best equipment they need to get the job done as quickly as possible to uh, send our brothers and sisters to the fight and help refuel the fight. Looking at what you do and being needed is just uh, it's a really good feeling. It, uh, it makes your job a lot better every day and it makes you try to push as hard as you can to, to put amazing work out so everybody can see it, view it, and understand what you do and just make yourself look better. Watching the jets launch out, watching the guys marshal the planes out and them take off and knowing I had a part in that. We do what it takes to get the mission done and it's a great feeling.